Hey guys, so my gig has started ranking higher and I have discovered something nice. So if I just search for valuation, it'll probably come in the top eight, mostly in the top four. It's over here. I'll search for it again. It's going to come in, in those numbers. It came in the first place. Every search depends. If, on every search, it's going to change its position. Now it's gone over here, somewhere down. Okay. It mostly comes up, sometimes goes down when I search for valuation. But earlier, it used to go somewhere over here in these banks. Now, if I just search for equity valuation, you'll find it coming in the first place. If I search for it again, it will still be there or in the second place. Yeah, it's still in the first place. You can see how the other people did change, but mine didn't. Mine is in the first place. If I just search for business valuation, yes, it's coming in the top four again. I'll search for it again. Oops. Yeah. It's again over there. So why is it happening? I go to swelling and quickly show you why that happens. You'll see this gig over here, provide equity valuation for a company, for a business, yeah. So first thing is, the first time you name your gig, the name you give it the first time is gonna get imprinted on, imprinted on this website. So the first name I gave was, I will provide valuation of a company using intrinsic valuation. And that stayed over there. And I didn't know that. So I just changed the name later on, but the, the website name didn't change with it. So if all three are matching this, your gig's name and the SEO, that's wonderful. But if it's, even if it's not, you can still do better than what you think you can. I'll tell you how. So I have repeatedly used three words, equity, valuation, business. Business, valuation, equity. Again, valuation comes over here, okay? Valuation comes twice in this website name itself, right? So this is the SEO part. Second part that is important is, if I go to my analytic, you'll see that I have 4,374 yeah, rupees per gig selling price, sorry, per order selling price. What does this mean? For every order that I've received, I have made at least 58 or 59 dollars. I just translated that into US dollars. Now, why that is important? If I go to the dashboard, my dashboard, I'm just level zero seller right now. But to be a level one seller, I need to make at least 10 orders and bring in at least $500 worth of revenue because it's saying I have to earn at least $400. So it means I have to bring in at least $500 of revenue. Why that is important? It means that I have to make at least $50 of sale per order. I'm making 59. I'm making more than what Fiverr is asking. And why it's not asking specifically, but that is the fastest way for me to become a seller, level one seller. But it's just one indication what Fiverr expects you to make from one order, right? If you do that for 20 orders, you're not gonna get boosted so high. If I keep one order for $100 and I get it, it's gonna add more value to Fiverr and they're gonna feel, oh, this guy's bringing in more revenue just with just one order. And he's getting excellent reviews. So all the eight, star, eight uh, reviews have been five star reviews. So why is that happening? If I look, if I just go to switch to buying again, you will see that not a single one of those people has a video explaining what they do. I do, I do have a video. Now why, why does that make an impact? There's one reason. My video, first of all, is not a very nice looking video. My video over here, if you look at this, there's this one guy over here who has a video and rest of them won't even have a video. Look at that. Okay, and why is it important? Why is it working for me? When someone clicks on this, they see a preview for the gig. And this is the preview. I have a video explaining what it is. And it's not a very good looking video, but it's well constructed and has enough knowledge to show you what it means. Now that's something people look for. If you have a good looking video, they might still be skeptical. But if you have a bad looking video explaining exactly what you do, that works in reverse psychology way. It doesn't really mean they'll, they'll just go away because it's a bad video. No, it works in the actually opposite manner. And people actually come to you. So I've been receiving five star reviews for all my eight orders. And I have just finished one more order, but he's yet to leave me a review. I'm sure, I'm sure I'll get a five star review for that as well. So this is how you're going to get ranked up in the SEO fiber. Um, basically, you need to have a good video. You need to have a niche that is quite unique and there are not many people. If you look for equity valuation, you will find many people out there. Look at this. It goes up to page four. Okay. It should not be beyond 10 pages. If it is beyond 10 pages or 15 pages, you're going to find it very hard. Like one of my gigs is about SEO. It's barely getting seen because many people are already providing the SEO, right? As a service. So the analytics are important. Your reviews are important. Having a video is important and having the SEO optimized in the gig is important. Okay. So this is how it works, guys. Thank you for watching and grind hard.